Hello, welcome to Stupixel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create glass material in 3ds Max 2018 with Arnold. I have created a simple scene with one small goblet and one torus knot. So goblets, I will just increase. I have created with the lathe modifier, and I just increase it to a little higher so that it will become smooth and also it's okay it's fine the torus knot is fine so uh, now what you have to do is first you have to go to the render settings and convert the render engine to Arnold both from production to active shade so that uh, whatever I changes I made in the render engine it will be updated as soon as possible my GPU is uh, working fine yes so next what you have to do is create one light which is an Arnold light by default yep so now if you hit the active shade you can see your scene has been lit up which is uh, by default pretty nicely yeah so I'll just increase uh, the distance so that the light intensity remain a little bit in control otherwise you can control it from the modified panel so I'm not uh, discussing with the light uh, in details so this is just for reference now you have to go to the material editor uh, I'm using slate material editor you, you can use the compact material editor also it's up to you there is no difference in the output so here under the Arnold menu surface and you can see the standard surface I'm going to use standard surface which is a very nice one and very easy to use uh, material so I'll just drag and drop and I will apply this material to both of them right click assign material to selection sorry I deselected the last ones assign material to selection and immediately you can see oops the material has been updated over here so I'll just keep this thing a little side so that you can see what is going on in the render double click on this material and you can have this uh, <coughs> standard surfaces uh, attributes over here now I would really ask you to rename uh, the material to glass so that later on uh, we can actually use it somewhere else also okay so let's start working coating is not our concern right now even in the basic material basic parameters I will come back to this base color because this is a very imp important one but I will first go towards the specular reflection and the transmission now the specular reflection is actually for the reflective materials now though we we will have uh, a reflective object I mean glass will be reflective but initially we can start with the transmission which is actually more into the refractive one now here in the specular reflection what we need to uh, be very very careful of that is index of refraction now index of refraction will be the one which actually will uh, control our light bending capacity of that particular material so you if you see uh, if you google it uh, different different materials have different IOR or the index of refraction values uh, for for example glasses have 1.5 uh, the diamonds have 2.4 and, um, and so on so that's up to you what kind of material have you are actually looking for but yes you have to set up this index of refraction so by default right now I am leaving it to 1.52 which is default and I will straight ahead go to the transmission section now transmission section is really really interesting and it's so easy that you just have to increase the amount of the general value of transmission and immediately you can see your object is actually being transferred into the glass if you hit 100% it will actually uh, have the uh, 
glass look immediately when uh, you hit uh, the maximum value in the general now there is an option called thin world which I will not actually uh, ask you to do because that will create just a I mean uh, a transparent object not exactly like looks like a glass so what is actually doing is it's just making it transparent and only the outlines are actually been visible that's how the thin world is actually been calculated so I really don't like this thin world uh, option I would rather go to the uh, I mean uh, the conventional way of creating the uh, glass material here in the depth also you can increase it unless if you are actually you know uh, not getting the exact amount of bend uh, through through your object but now oops sorry no not exit to background exit to background is something different now here is one more thing which is really really interesting in the uh, specular reflection that is roughness now to make these objects frosted glass not exactly the shiny one what you can do is you can increase the amount of the roughness over here now this will actually make your object or the glass as a frosted one not a clean smooth one so this is a really really handy uh, I mean uh, handy option however you can actually create this same effect with another option of uh, the another option which is over here as an extra roughness so what you can do is you can increase this extra roughness and immediately you can see your object is getting a frosted but there is a difference between these two roughnesses the specular roughness is actually also work on the specular shine like the specular spot the hot spot but the adv uh, the extra roughness from the transmission is not going to affect these uh, specular points now I have only increased the extra roughness to 21 let's uh, do the same thing make it zero and you just concentrate on this uh, uh, specular points over here and I make this one the roughness of the specular reflection to 0.21 immediately you can see my specularity will also become a little uh, blurish I can increase to 0.8 maybe oops sorry that is too huge so 0.5 maybe or maybe 0.3 yeah so if you increase slowly you can see your specularity is actually going out your your object is no longer specular because you are actually making the reflectiveness as a as a uh, you are just increasing the roughness of the reflectivity so that is actually uh, affecting your object overall but here in this case it was not it is only affecting the refractive calculations so these two are not same uh, roughness and uh, you should be very very careful about this one okay next I will go for dispersion abbey dispersion abbey is something which you can actually see in uh, diamond or or similar sort of material where you can see the multicolor uh, refractivity so if you increase in a very small amount you can immediately get the multicolorness but that is not how it actually works you have to increase a quite a bit amount like say maybe 10 or maybe more than that 20 or even more maybe 50 yeah so now the more you increase the uh, dispersion abbey you can have the light dispersion effect also so this actually really really helpful when you actually uh, wanted to show something which has been broken and the edges are uh, refracting or scattering the source light into different colors so this is really interesting one for that or maybe you want to show some diamonds so 
this is this person Abe and which I actually skipped earlier was the basic parameter and you can have a colored material for that okay so you can change it change the color over here the base color and if you decrease this transmission to a little lesser immediately you can see you can have those base color into action so I will transfer it to a green one maybe blue one and that's it here is a very interesting thing that the color of the transmission which people used to use I mean tend to use that you know what I want my object uh, uh, to be blue so I need to change my glass color to blue so this is not the right option to change with so what I will do is I will transfer this one and I will change this one into the blue one now you see what is happening it is not the object that is actually uh, changing the color it's actually the effect of the light which is actually changing the color so entire object is turning to blue in fact the shadow also because the light is actually turning them into uh, uh, into into lights are actually been turned into that particular color which is uh, the transmission color is so be very very careful while using this color into your scene and um, and not the base one so I will always recommend the base one as as your objects color because that is that is how it actually you know going to uh, work so yes if you are using any bottle or particular color glass that uh, will be your uh, ideal uh, you know uh, property to be changed so that's it and uh, this is the basic basic part of of how to you know get an uh, believable looking glass object hope you enjoy this please subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, please follow us to facebook and uh, twitter and we have started a uh, live streaming also so check it out uh, when the next live streaming is and what will be the topic in our facebook page we will update as soon as we schedule the next uh, uh, next uh, streaming so yes uh, uh, there you can ask questions or even you know clear your doubts related to any any particular uh, topic that we, we we will discuss and uh, write us to studiopixel at gmail.com so that we can get back to those topic and also those uh, uh, you know uh, the doubts that we'll have thank you very much